Okay, today I'm going to go over the first part of chapter one. It's a little bit after five, so if I'm not at my best, well. Anyway, so we're going to be doing, so we're going to be working in Photoshop. We've already introduced Photoshop, and by now you should be somewhat familiar with the tools on the toolbar over here. We're, the main ones we're going to use today are the Crop Tool and the Marquee Tool, Rectangular Marquee. Okay, so to start with, we need to download our image. We'll be doing this one right here, Chapter 1 Wildlife Park. We'll be doing the first part. The other thing you see here are the instructions if you're using Photopea at home. These instructions are assuming that you're using Photoshop, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to download the image. And I downloaded the image by scrolling down to the Photoshop Files and Images, Chapter 1. If you need the book, if, if you're here at school, it's obviously on the shelf. If you're somewhere else, the book is right here. And we're going to go ahead and open eagle.jpg. That JPG is pronounced JPEG. I'm going to click on Download Eagle.jpg. Now, hopefully, this little box opened up for you. If it didn't, you'll need to open your folder here. And you need to find where it went. So to do that, I'm going to do it kind of an easy way. I'm going to click on the little upward pointed carrot there. And I'm going to click on Show in Folder. And there it is, Eagle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drag that into my Photoshop folder. You, on the other hand, probably don't have a Photoshop folder. You just drag it into pictures here. Now, if you don't have what I was just showing, okay, maybe yours looks more like this. Come over here to this PC, and there they are, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to, to this image right here. I'm going to hold the left mouse button down. I am holding it down, and I'm dragging that image. And you can see here, move to pictures. If I release here, it'll go right into the pictures photo, uh, folder. I'm going to take it to Photoshop and release. Okay, that's as much as we're doing here. From this point on, everything else we're doing today will be in Photoshop. So here's our standard Photoshop window. The first thing we need to do is open this image. And that's why I made a point of what we just did so you can find it. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on Open. You're probably going to click on this PC and then Pictures. And you'll probably find it in there. Remember, I threw mine into the Photoshop folder. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that. Open. And after you find it, you'll click on Open and there it'll be. Okay, so... The first thing I want you to do, and we went through a little bit more stuff in class, is to press Control-0, just to make it full screen so you can see what you're doing. And right here you see that it's eagle.jpg. We want to change that. We want to save it as a Photoshop document so while we're working, we retain a lot of the Photoshop information. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on File, Save As. I'm leaving everything else the same. What you think I'm changing right here is where it says, actually, I'm going to change the date here. Because this is the 5th, 5, V, 2, 0, 2, 1. Good. And I'm going to come down here to where it says Format, and I'm going to click on that. And I want to choose the Photoshop Format.psd. Okay? Click on that. Now you see that it says Photoshop.psd. Save. And now you see up here, it says eagle.psd. So that was the first part, was saving our image. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to crop the image. To crop is to cut away. And we're going to cut away a part of this image. Okay? And this starts on page number 32. I'm going to select the cropping tool. Now, up here, there's some stuff that I want to do. First, I want to make sure delete cropped pixels is checked. I want to make sure rule of thirds is checked. I want to come over here and I want to select original ratio. It may say unconstrained. You want to just click on that and make sure that it says original ratio right here. Okay, now you saw the grid showed up. If the grid does not show up, just very carefully move your cursor up somewhere like this and click without moving the mouse while you're clicking, okay? Remember when I say click, I mean left click to click the left mouse button, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and finish our cropping. What I want first is I want this vertical line here to be over the eagle's chest. I spent time talking about why we did that in class, but I'm not gonna spend as much time on this video in the why and just go to the how. I'm gonna go to the corner up here and you can see my cursor turned into a black 
diagonal arrow with a point on both ends. Now I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down. I am holding the left mouse button down and I'm pulling the mouse to the left. And now that line is over the eagle and I release. The line I'm talking about is this vertical line right here. Now the next thing I want is I want this horizontal over the eagle's chest. So notice how my cursor takes different forms. I want to be in the image with it, that black triangle. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down, and I'm going to pull the image down. Now, if you get something like that, move the image back to where it's supposed to be. I'm going to pull down until that line is over the eagle's chest, just like that. That's what I want it to look like at this point. Now, I want to commit to this or basically say that I'm done cropping. You can click on the check mark. Your check mark is probably over here. Mine's here. Or I can just hit enter on the keyboard. Either way works. Now, as I've said before, don't leave this sitting on a destructive tool, something a tool that could mess up your image. So I'm going to come over here and select the rectangular marquee tool because that's the next tool we're going to use anyways. So we have finished cropping. The next thing we're going to do on this image is to create a border, and that starts on page number 35. The first thing we're going to do is, is make sure we've selected the rectangular marquee tool. Got the selection right there, rectangular. Now we're going to select that, select all. You could have also pressed control A. Now before I do anything else, I do want to look down here at these right here. I want black over white. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the letter D as in delta on my keyboard. And that changes the, the colors to the default configuration, D as in delta. I want black over white. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and apply the stroke to the edges. Again, kind of a painting term. I'm going to click on edit. You see, I'm going to come down here to stroke. Now, the book here has a setting this width here at 75. 75. Location center, blending mode normal, opacity 100%. Everything looks right there. I'm going to click on OK. And now you see that black border. But this isn't really what we want when we're done. We want to have a blended border. We want a little bit of a 3D look. Those of you who have already done the photo P know that it didn't come out looking great. It will come out looking much better in Photoshop. But the next thing we need to do is modify the border selection. So I'm going to come up here to select, modify, border. And I'm going to type in 50. And OK. Now you see two border selections, two marquees, two sets of marching ants. Now I'm going to change this here. There are two ways to do it. I can click on the switch foreground background tool right here, that arrow, and you see there, switch foreground background. And you see that it also has that little X at the end. I could have just pressed the letter X. That will also switch them. So two ways of doing that. Now we have white over black. Now let's come up here to edit. Stroke, we want to change the size to 25 at this point. Okay. And OK. Now we have that blended border. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these marquees, the selections, so you can see what's going on. There are two ways I can do that. I can click on Select and Deselect, or I can simply press Control D as in Delta on my keyboard. Either way works. OK. Control Zero just so you can see a little bit bigger. There we are. Okay, now the next thing on this image and the last thing we're doing to the image today is we're going to resize it. And that's actually pretty easy. And that starts on page number 44. To resize it, I'm simply going to come up here and click on image, image size. Now, this one's important. Do not change these right here. Okay, don't change these unless you know why you're doing it. We talked about that in class. Come down here to these. And it, we've got the link icon lit. So that's telling us that these two will move together. And it says to change the height to four, four. And click on OK. It's now a lot smaller. Again, Control Zero. And now it's, we can see it. Now we can see that it's a lot smaller image, a height of four. Let's go ahead and save that again. And there's two ways we can do it. We can click on File, and we can find Save. It's got to be here somewhere. File. 
save. Yep. Or we could have just pressed and watch right here and down here when I do this. Press Control S as in Sierra. Okay. It went really fast, but it you saw a little flicker up here. That was it saving the image. Okay. That is as far as we are going today. And this took us all the way to page number 46. And now I'm looking for the Screencastify controls if you're wondering what I am doing. Where, where, where? Here we go. 